Stop conditioning your athletes. Welcome to Espresso Shots powered by the Cutoffs and Coffee podcast. Just because something was done to you does not mean it's a good excuse to do it to somebody else. I think conditioning for athletes has been completely taken out of hand. I do understand the desire for our athletes to be mentally tough, but I also think the most mentally tough people on the planet are the men and women of our armed services. And I'm pretty sure they didn't become mentally tough from running suicides. I really think mental toughness is more made up terminology for us coaches to be able to use. Our athletes do need to have a certain level of conditioning, not only for longevity and our health, but to be able to perform on the field. I think if you're practicing with enough tempo in your sport practice, conditioning should be no problem. If we're trying to condition for certain aspects of our sport, we need to practice those aspects and get conditioned for those opportunities and those situations. Anything outside of that is just general added fatigue. Many injuries can be linked back to overuse and fatigue. So coaches, we have to ask ourselves, are we putting our athletes in the best position to be able to perform? Are we running practices efficiently enough for them to be able to be successful on the field? Is the tempo that we're running practice able to allow the athlete to get in condition for the sport? Are we just wasting the last 10, 15 minutes of practice running our athletes into the ground and telling them they need to be in condition when really they already are in condition to be able to play their sport? Baseball and softball players need to be able to run around the bases. Football players need to be able to sustain the speed of their sport for four to six seconds at a time. Basketball players are running up and down the court, but they practice full court and they practice at tempos to be able to be conditioned enough to be able to get through an entire game. Are we just adding stress to the athlete by over conditioning them? Do we need to condition our athletes eight months before their season? We have to ask ourselves as coaches, are we running practice and running the weight room the most efficient way to give our athletes the best opportunity to have the best outcomes in their sport? If we can say yes to that question, then continue what we're doing. But if there's a thought that we might not be giving them the best opportunity to succeed, we need to figure out where we can change that. And a lot of times, I think over conditioning our athletes is a big issue in our industry. I understand there's a time and place for everything, but I do believe we are doing our athletes a disservice by conditioning them 12 months a year. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for more of this content.